Hello, and welcome to this Interstage X1 demo video. In today's demo, we're going to look at the Excel sheet mapping tool and the sheet instance creator. Now, these tools are used to allow you to get data, your financial reports data, from a tool like Excel, and um, to be able to map the fields in Excel and be able to generate a document in XBRL format. Um, so this is typically used when you want to um, take your financial statements that are in Excel and generate an XBRL document for submission to something like the SEC. All right, so let's um, have a look at um, our environment. Now, let's say we have um, an Excel statement, um, a financial document in Excel. And right now, I've just opened a, a fairly basic um, financial statement that's got some information about the report, the date, um, who the company is, some results of operations, sales, income, things like that. So in in your organization, you're going to have a straightforward kind of financial statement. Now, how do we take this template of a statement and map that into XWAND so that you can generate XBRL documents from that. So the first thing that we do is we load the Interstage X1 toolkit and in there there's the sheet mapping function and what we use is the sheet mapping designer. So I'm going to load the sheet mapping designer and in there I'm going to open up the um, the Excel document that I had. So I'm, I'm going to create a new mapping. I'm going to specify my Excel document um, and um, where that's going to go is this is that financial statement document that I had. So I'm going to specify this is the one that I want to use as the source of my, my mapping. And I'm going to specify a template XBRL instance so that I have a sample that I can use to map into. So it, it brings in the XBRL taxonomies and the context that I can do for my mapping. So now I have the two of these documents open side by side. Let me set this to 90% so we can see that a little bit better. So on the left hand side we have the Excel spreadsheet that we were looking at and on the right hand side we have uh, the information that's been retrieved from the taxonomy. Now Interstage X1 has done all this automatically so we can see all the information from inside that taxonomy. Now, to, in order to do the mapping, all we need to do is we need to select the item on the right-hand side from the taxonomy and drag it across to the left to the item that we want to make the association to. So in this case, I'm going to do a report name and map it to the report name in the Excel. So what I've just done, I've just dragged it across and dropped it on the cell where the report name is going to be. Now I can do that for the date, drag it across to here. This is how I'm doing mapping. I just keep going and map it. Now you can see it gives you visual indications for the ones that have been mapped um, and the ones that haven't been mapped we can see they don't particularly have these little red icons. Now in, in a small document like this we can go through and do all of them manually but you'd also want to have the capability of doing them automatically where the tool will search through and find the items in the spreadsheet and automatically map them to items in the taxonomy. So if we wanted to do that, we have the ability to do the auto mapping. So let's quickly run through. For doing an automatic mapping, we need to identify the label region in our spreadsheet. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these as being our labels. And then I'm going to select the values and say, OK, the values are located in these cells. So it's me just telling the tool where the information is. And so once I've applied that, um, information about the values and the labels, I can automatically go through and the tool will find the matches and map them. Now there's going to be some cases, and we'll see out here, this one is hi it's not highlighted by the red icon, so we know that this one has not been mapped. So we'll say, okay, what happened to this one? Here it is. So we need to see, okay, for this particular one, it was slightly different, the tool didn't recognize it, so we're going to manually map it. Um, so this allows us to do this automatic mapping. We've now completed the tagging for this particular spreadsheet. So how do we use this now? So the first thing that we do is we save the mapping. So let's go in there and save the mapping file. Um, we'll call it My Mapping. Um, and we'll save that. So now that we're done with that, the next step for us to do is to go into the Sheet Instance Creator and generate uh, an XBRL instance from this mapping that we've just designed. 
So what I'm going to do is go in and load the sheet instance creator. Alright, so in the sheet instance creator what we're going to do is we're going to select the contents that we've just mapped with. So I'm going to just select the, the default one for me right now. It's pulled in all of my information related to the mapping that I did. Let's put this up to 100% so we can see it nice and clearly. Um, so now it's got this Excel-like interface where I can come in here and type my values in here. So if I wanted to type in um, my, my figures, I can do that directly in here. Or what I can do is I can import an, a file directly from Microsoft Excel. So um, let's import a file. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I've got uh, some financial statements here with some values in it. Um, so I'm going to pull that one in and we'll just let that get imported directly over all the, those numbers that I'd entered. Um, so now we have a, a filled up um, financial statement um, for Cash Cow Company. Um, and so now what we can do is we can generate this um, from this spreadsheet into an XBRL document. So we've loaded it, we've got the values in here, and now all we do is we'll save this. Um, let's give it a location for us to save it to. Um, Let's see, where do we want to do that? Um, let's send it to um, to the instances that I'm going to create. I'm going to say this is my report for the SEC um, and save it. So, okay, it's going to generate that. It's actually created it for me right now. And if I want to go in there to the folder that I created, here it is, my report for the SEC. Now let's um, have a quick look at that in the X1 viewer, and we'll see that it's got all the relevant information in there, um, and, and it's generated the XBRL properly. So this is the XBRL viewer, it's just showing me the contents of that XBRL file, and we see that everything is right here exactly as we needed. So that concludes our demo for using the Sheet Mapping Designer and the Sheet Instance Creator to get data from Microsoft Excel and create an XBRL report from that.